Hello, welcome to Jita Company. We are looking into air and its composition. What is the air? Air is nothing but a mixture of variety of gases. So the air in the atmosphere consists of varieties of gases like nitrogen, oxygen, and the major one is carbon dioxide, which is the life-sustaining substance for animals and also for humans. There are variety of gases available and I am trying to show you a picture where the predominant gases so oxygen, carbon dioxide and variety of gases like water vapor and other gases are there. And apart from that nitrogen is a predominant approx of 78% it's nitrogen. So air is really important for making things burning. As I told, the predominant one is nitrogen and you got oxygen and also carbon dioxide. So this picture shows how much the percentage of your gases in the atmosphere. So which in the color indicates, the lighter color indicates it's a really a lesser percentage of gas available in the atmosphere, nitrogen dioxide and followed by ozone. Xenon, Carbon Monoxide, Nitrous Oxide, Hydrogen, Krypton, Methane, Helium, Neon, Carbon Dioxide, Argon and followed by your Oxygen and Nitrogen. Now, we will look into the Oxygen. So, in the periodic table, the 16th layer and 16th group is Oxygen family. Oxygen is the chemical element with the symbol O and with the atomic number H. The chalcogens are the chemical elements in group 16 of the periodic table. This group is also known as oxygen. Oxygen is really reactive to non-metallic elements and oxidizing agents that readily forms compounds with the many more elements. So, plants and animals take in oxygen during the process of respiration. The respiration is a process when living beings take in oxygen in order to break down digestive food produce energy. You can see here the leaves and plants will intake the carbon dioxide and water with the help of light they are producing carbohydrate and oxygen. So this is the normal process followed. You can see here a plant it produces oxygen. The animal takes oxygen. Animal breaks down sugar molecules and animal releases carbon dioxide and the plant takes in carbon dioxide. Plant uses carbon to make sugar molecules to survive. This is the overall process chain of your carbon dioxide and oxygen. So for the human the same scenario happen. The intake of oxygen will happen and there will be the carbon dioxide which is taken out. So carbon dioxide is used by the plants. By a photosynthesis your oxygen and food is taken. The food is taken by the human and the oxygen is respirated by the human. In the blood the oxygen will come and the oxygen with the sugar with the food it produces energy, water and carbon dioxide. And this carbon dioxide is released through the blood vessels and it came out to the atmosphere. This is the process followed in case of respiration. Now we'll talk about the cycle of an oxygen atom. You can see in the left picture a human is inhaling oxygen and the oxygen enter into the brain and the body cells and it will enter into the mitochondria and the water is released 
and automatically the digestion and normal process happening which is flushed back from the human and this water is injected into the plants and trees with the help of sunlight the oxygen is released from the trees and this is inhaled by the human once again and once the oxygen is inhaled it is used by the human body and it is released as water and this water comes out from the human in the form of digestion and it is taken by the roots of the leaves and plants and with the help of sunlight and water and carbon dioxide the oxygen is released this is the overall process of now we'll talk about the carbon cycle you can see the right one the carbon dioxide which is exhaled or taken out from human is taken by the plants and it is converted into carbohydrates these carbohydrates were taken by human and it is digested and automatically it is segregated and the carbon dioxide is released this carbon dioxide through the lungs of through the exhale process is taken out from human this is how your carbon dioxide is released and it is utilized by the plants to make your glucose or carbohydrates which is once again taken by the human and this chain proceeds further towards escalation process or ex exhaling and the carbon dioxide is released